Uh, and I want to invite now Mike Antonovich, the LA County Supervisor, to give us uh, his message. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I didn't meet Shirley in a car wash. <laughs> But we've been friends, and she served as one of my commissioners in the past, and uh, for, I guess, what, 25 years or so. So this is a very viable program that she's involved with. Everything revolves around a mother and a father and their relationship with a child. I see that with my children, and they're involved with the AYSO and uh, uh, the Y and in their school. And you see the parents who are there with their children, be at the athletic events or whatever, or the parent-teacher uh, conferences. And the ones whose parents are always involved, uh, those kids excel, and they're also um, good role models for the other kids. The problems that we have today really revolve around the child growing up having the right role model. And it's why it's so vital that we have the various programs. and. Uh, I always use the analogy dealing with foster parenting and adoptions that Billy Graham once used for welfare. He said if every church and synagogue in the United States would take in 10 families on welfare, you could eliminate welfare. And we have encouraged our faith-based community in Los Angeles County to step forward in foster care and mentoring. It's important that they have this ability to have a positive role model, these young people. And when they have a bad ex experience, then you have groups like the Boys and Girls Club and the Y, uh, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the Brownies, all of these other groups where you have role models that help these kids. But parents who are incarcerated, these children right now have a, a stigma and that's why it's important that you have support groups coming forward to be the proper role models so that they will have that anchor to continue to have an appreciation for education and see education as a door opening up for opportunity. And it takes public-private partnerships, public-private partnerships. The Hillside here where we are right now, as many of you are involved with Hillside, know the valuable support that they do for our young people. But uh, surely with her, involvement on her program, uh, talking to the people, having guests, and it's a privilege to be able to support that program. But again, having this type of an effort uh, is going to help these young people so they're going to have the proper role model, the proper guidance. Uh, uh, Pacific Clinic has done an incredible job. And again, it's a public-private partnership, those in the public sector and those in the private sector working together so that these young people know that they have a future, they can achieve their goals, and they have this support system in place. So it's a pleasure. And, and uh, who else have you met in a car wash? <laughs> <laughs> I always look around, but I don't see anybody as interesting. <laughs> so, so I'm going to leave early because my son is in AYSO um, soccer. We have a soccer my game. And, is, and I appreciate that. So I'm going to introduce Senator Carol Liu, who is here, and she's going to follow me.